everyone, welcome to my channel and for series 88, my name is Tanya. Well, I'm at a beautiful park. I just was walking home and I found and discovered something new. It's amazing when you go for a walk in nature that even the most jaded of people can be surprised by the beauty that surrounds them. It just goes to show you that there is a God, there is spirit, there is whatever you want to word it, that they're alive and well and sitting on their throne of power. Amen. All right, so I'm going to do a reading, and it's it really feels like I'm at a memorial area. All my cards are all messed up, so just bear with me here. All right, let's start this reading. Call in spirit. Spirit guides and angels of your way light. Please give me a clear message for the collective when it brings healing, hope, and understanding of their situation. Protect me as I open myself up to channel these messages and protect my beautiful collective. Amen. All right, I just feel like I'm hearing the church bells ringing, surrounded by the beauty all around me, but it's like fall is such a uh, a time of renewal. It, it really is, even though it's a letting go, a shedding of the old self, there's always that promise of renewal come spring, right? It's like you have to let go in order for the new to come in, and I feel like this is the perfect example of that being fall nature has a way of letting go of things even though they hold on to it and cling to it so tightly they inevitably have to let go of something in order for their renewal to come in in the spring and i feel like this is somebody here that needs to hear that message so spirit give me that message today let's go into the cards and yes i carry tarot cards i'm a tarot card reader hello you never quite know when a reading's gonna hit you all right, here's the King of Wands in the reverse. There is Leo Sagittarius. This is a person that's charismatic, but it's in a distorted way if it's in the reverse. There's a spiritual guide here as well. Okay, so spiritual guide and a distorted king. What's this about spirit? Give me some messages here. They could be in a connection together or they could be looking for a spiritual guide in their situation. The lovers in reverse for an ending, right? A, a commitment that's no longer, so it's in the reverse. So maybe they're getting guidance on that. Four of Wands in the reverse. Everything's in the damn reverse. Celebration, stability, there's no stability in this connection. The sun is here. There's no happiness or success. The chariot's in reverse. There's no progress. There's escape and travel. There's nothing going on. Juggling, trying. There's juggling here. It's in the reverse. Two of coins. No molded. Something's stuck, man. Something's so stuck. Something has ended. Something is distorted. It could be a connection between a spiritual guide and a king of wands. Seven of coins. There's no investment either. But is this even like worth even doing? Nine of coins. There's no abundance and luxury. This, it's, it's like lack. Everything is like negative. This person's very negative. They didn't give stability to this person. They didn't give a real commitment either. Why though? It's like juggling and multitasking in the reverse though. So it's like a game, maybe. This person used their charisma in the wrong way. Maybe they were connected to a spiritual guide. Maybe they got the wrong advice about handling a situation or a connection. Right here, seven of wands in the reverse. Per not persevering, but giving up. Like giving up a person or giving up a connection or feeling like giving up in life. Two of wands in the reverse. Not working. Not doing anything. That's why there's all this conflict and defeat. Five of swords. And then not being guarded. I have nine of wands in the reverse. Not being guarded against people or influences or temptations. So if it's the king of wands 
in the reverse, a person who's a leader and charismatic. Now they could be distorted and overly sexual and giving in to people in situations that they should have been more guarded against, people they should have been more guarded against. But instead of being more guarded against them, they were more receptive. Maybe receptive to people in their game, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, rest and meditation. Four of Swords is here. Like being backstabbed. Being backstabbed. More or less, not backstabbed, but this is a person who does nothing. Like too much sleeping. Too much of nothing. And what do they say? Too much of something, like, what is it? Enough is enough and too much is good for nothing. I feel like that's what they became, a good for nothing. And it's all their mindset or trusting the wrong people or just, like, attaching themselves to a person based on money, based on what they could do for them. Yeah. And then doing nothing in return for that person. Nine of Swords, anxiety and stress here, but it's in the reverse. Coming out of anxiety and stress. Three of Swords, coming out of heartbreak and despair. It's all in the reverse. There's a crossroads for somebody, and it could be the person that's the spiritual guide. This King of Wands and this spiritual guide were in a relationship together. But this King of Wands was distorted. And it, they attach themselves to a person that was a blessing. But instead of looking at it like a blessing, they attach themselves to this person based on their abundance and then use that person and became a do-nothing, a, I don't know, like a leech in a sense of attaching themselves to this person for what they could do for them. And instead of there being any reciprocity, there was just like energy vampire overly sexual attaching themselves to people in situations trusting people they shouldn't have and attaching themselves to all these other energies and doing nothing like not working not being a blessing but being a curse and by being a curse to somebody else they became a curse themselves is what i'm hearing yeah and there's a crossroads for this spiritual guide that just Ace of Cups, look, love and emotions. It's like they ended up, though they love this person or cared about this person or were in a connection with this person, they're moving on to something else. They make, they're making a decision to leave this person. Surrender, right? Surrender to the flow. Surrender to the universe. Yeah, eight of coins, working hard, but hardly getting anywhere with this person, right? Right here, Seven of Cups, options and pipe dreams, but in the reverse. There's a realization here. There's, vic there's, no, there's no victory or progress, Six of Wands, with the individual that they're with, so now they're going to seek their victory somewhere else. Because this person doesn't do anything. Right here, Three of Wands in reverse. No productivity, not working, not doing anything. Right? Four of Cups in the reverse, boredom and disinterest but in the reverse seeking pleasures outside of their commitment it's like they were bored but now they're like excited by seeking other options everywhere else possibly with the queen of cups in the reverse possibly with the queen of coins in the reverse giving in weak not strong enough to resist the temptation two of cups in the reverse no true love, just hit it and quit it. This was a ten of cups that they had with somebody else. Contentment and family. But they they pissed it away, is what I'm hearing. Page of swords on guard, new information. So this this tarot card reader, this spiritual guide was getting information from spirit. Hmm. Downloads from the universe. Anything else, spirit? This is this is not what I was expecting sitting out here. I guess what the, the point of this whole thing is is that the spiritual guide got downloads from the spirit, recognized the commitment that they were in, this other person was not committed, and that it's time to let go. Like nature, 
to let go of things even though you're holding on so hard to something that it was an illusion and that they're realizing that it was a pipe dream that this person was seeking out pleasures from other people and not from the commitment that they were in three of coins in the reverse there's no collaboration here there's no collaboration and they're realizing it now as hard as it is how much emotions how much love that they had for this person that they're not going to be successful and maybe they haven't been maybe they've been stifled all this time because this person because this spiritual guy did not want to let go while this person's attaching themselves to all this other negative energy right law of attraction they're stuck in the comic consequences of this other person's actions this person this king of wands in the reverse any other kind of spirit so they have to let go of the world yeah if they want success this cycle was stifled for a long time the cycle was just going on and on yeah but this cycle is going to end eight of wands in the reverse there's no movement the stagnation there's no victory here there's no progress it's just comic lesson yeah they had to learn a harsh lesson about people and trusting and who they could trust and who they couldn't trust ace of coins prosperity there's no prosperity there's just a pessimistic depression look five of cups is here they're wallowing in this because of this person's toxic energy all of this is in the reverse but there's a new beginning the fool is here and this there's, there's hope here because this person this spiritual guide is a star and that's why this king of wands attached themselves to this person's distorted king they were a wish fulfillment, but their their pride got the best of them. They're trying to stop an ending here, and death is in the reverse, but there will be justice and fairness for what this person has put this spiritual guide through. Okay, queen of Swords, another distorted queen here. They're, they're attaching themselves to all these individuals, my God. There was an innocence to this spiritual guide. A lot of charity a lot of help this person gave to this individual in life and they counted on it they counted on it and they used it up and there's nothing left to give it's like the only thing left for this spiritual guide whoever the spiritual guide could be let me see if, if spirit will give me it who's the spiritual guide spirit give me a card who's this person that this distorted king attached themselves to they need it they need to let go of this person because they're not benefiting anything they're not reciprocating in the connection and i feel like if this is a spiritual guy they know but they attach that they had so much emotions and love and there was so much history right they put a lot of work time and effort into this person but what spirit is saying is despite that they need to let go because there's no commitment true commitment on this person's part it's like they're making a choice it's like they're standing up for nothing and they realize that they're standing up to this connection crossroads is here again distortion is here again spirit who is this person that needs to let go who is this person that needs to let go of this king acceleration yep stagnation all right this is reiterating they're not telling me here it come through knight of swords knight of swords the gemini libra aquarius Ten of Cups. There could be somebody coming towards this spiritual guide. This Knight of Swords. Happiness is hap going to happen for this person when they let go. When they let go. There was a lot of people that maybe the King of Wands wanted this spiritual guide to compete. Make them jealous. Make them work for their affections. Because they were throwing their affections all over the place. It was like lazy energy. Didn't want to work. Didn't want to do anything. Yeah, conflict. They put this person in competition. Sneaky and thievery. Stealing from this person. Having all of these energies that were helping them. Or all of these energies attaching themselves to this king of wands. Because of the prosperity of the spiritual guide. Yeah, money and page of coins. There's admiration for you. And money and good news. But it's like not with this king of wands. This person was using you. This person was spreading their sexual energy, possibly robbing from you and slowing you down. The movement, sex, uh, um, oh my God, I got so much to say here all at once. Eight of Wands, yeah, it's accelerating and movement, but stifled and 
say, dear God. I mean, everything's in the reverse. Justice is here in the upright, though. Yeah. There's no abundance with this person. And I feel like in your quiet times, when you're alone, when you're by yourself without this person, who's probably put illusions, you know, we have a family together, we have this life together, how could they do this to me? I feel like you reflect a lot about that, and that's what keeps you stuck, the memories, the nostalgia, the history, and they're counting on that, why they are cheating on you, why they are with all these other people, why they're entertaining other people, using your gifts, right? Using your abundance, your prosperity, that you have making money, working hard for money, or money comes to you easily, and spending it on other people, robbing from you basically, entertaining all these people, acting like a player, acting like they got so much when they have nothing without you, and they know it. That's why they've stayed with you, even though they've been doing all this dirty deeds behind your back, trying to keep you there, giving you just enough so that you stay with them, but yet giving you nothing, really holding back their their energy from you hold, holding back their sexual energy because they're giving it away to other people or right? playing games using sex as a weapon making you feel guilty you have all these that you know you have all these memories how can you want to give it up while they give you absolutely nothing to stay with them always toxic and and you're attaching yourself to what you, you, there's nothing here there's nothing here to attach yourself to and it's hard for you to let go because you have so much history with this person but in retrospect you don't want to be with this person you know you don't want to be with this person you're manifesting on a, a way out of here and i feel like something is going to come in for you victory and success is going to come in for you but until you let go and like these leaves that held on so tightly to the beauty that they that represented their tree their shrub whatever nature in general until you can let go, wish this person well, but let go of the expectation and go with the flow of what is going to happen for you, you are always going to be attached to their negative karma because they're doing some negative shit. And I feel like you know this. Intuitively, you know this person is doing you dirty. But you stay stuck with them because maybe you have kids, you have family, you have real estate, you have a partnership with them. But they are not. It's not reciprocal. They've gotten worse and worse over the years lazier and lazier not working not doing nothing for you not contributing to the house and you realize it you realize it so this is what spirit is trying to i don't know trying to yeah spiritual guide somebody is if this is me i'm the spiritual guide that's, that's guiding you today whoever you are the spirit won't give me who it is you need to let go let go and let you know, let this person go, and not in anger, but in, what is it, Re reality, or uh, no, let this person go with love and light in your heart, but forgiveness, and recognize that you're a better person than that, to harbor resentment or make them pay, right, you're better than that. To learn from this, which I don't know, I don't know what the hell it's called, this lesson. Maybe they're going to be angry. Maybe they're going to try to make you pay. But when, like, like somebody once said, when they go low, you go high. Because they're an aggressive person. But that, the ending is here, man. And the spirit's trying to prod you here. There was a commitment. You've been very patient with this person. Very understanding. They, they counted on that. As they never got their shit together. But there, there's a family here, right? This should have been a legacy. This should have been a prosperity here. There was a collaboration. But there was too much adventures and passions and... You know, too much temptation out there for this person to stay loyal to you. You're the queen of wands to their king of wands, but you're there in the reverse. A driven person, a sexy person, beautiful, a prize to be had by anybody. This person knew your worth, but they distorted it. 
they try to siphon it they try to take it away and give it and attach it to them draining you all draining all of your prosperity draining all of your gifts so that it became theirs and not yours making themselves look good while making you look terrible it's like they were trying to rob you of your blessings attaching themselves to anybody who was interested in them to make themselves feel better but it was your prosperity that drew all these people in it wasn't their own you're a star you need to spiritually cleanse yourself there is happiness and success in your future whatever you're working on and creating is going to take off you have a message to give to people but you have to unload the burden that you have here this greedy and controlling person this user basically who's caused nothing but anxiety and stress you have all of these things that these this whatever it is that you're creating this uh this entrepreneurial spirit that you have there's going to be success here the wheel of fortune is going to turn in your favor i know you have a lot of love and emotions for this person but there's a lot of pride that's attached to whatever it is that the two of you created this partnership but they've treated you like a fool for far too long and you've stand, stood at the crossroads of change and not done it while this person celebrated there's, there's going to be a rude awakening for this person and I feel like you know that it's time to go and this message whoever needs to hear it it's confirmation that spirit is saying it's time to go my love like the leaves on the trees and the season that we're in it is your time to let go let go because a better thing something more beautiful is coming you just have to believe that believe that in your heart the spirit has something better for you it's just around the river bed Thank you so much for joining me on episode 38. Please like and subscribe and join the tribe. Love to have you. Until next time, be safe.